And this is how motion under gravity works. Stop saying these trifles, they're a bunch of lies. Sorry, but who are you? I am Aristotle's pupil, the mouthpiece of the ipsy dixit subject, the master of physics. Unfortunately, my mentor is not as bright as rain after 2300 years in the time. Master of what? Would you like to know what Aristotle has handed down through the years? May I have this honor? If you use your logic, it's obvious that a heavier object falls faster than a lighter one. It's clear. I can't believe what I just heard. You might think you're the master of physics, but I'll have to teach you a few things. The first one is that your logic doesn't prove anything. You have to support your theories with visual evidence, as I did with the scientific method that I also invented, if you don't mind me saying. You're so self-centered. At least not universe-centered. Anyway, let me demonstrate that you're totally wrong. Ha! Huh. You see, Aristotle was right. The book is heavier and in consequence faster. You might think you're right, but you're not. The speed of an object that is falling is not connected to its weight, but it depends on the resistance of the medium. Actually, in the second demonstration, the book and the sheep fall together because the book eliminates the resistance of the air. Furthermore, every fluid has its own resistance, and I'll show you. Same height, same weight, different speed, and this perfectly shows what I've just said. And in fact, Aristotle has always affirmed the presence of resistance. Yes, he has, but he has no idea of what it is. In fact, the main element to keep in mind is that it depends on the surface of the falling object. Come on, pupils. Ready and go! Now I get it. Those two sheets of paper have the same weight, but the crumpled one falls faster because it's got a smaller surface and in consequence the resistance of the air is minor. It's hard to admit it, but I guess you're right. I'm right about many things. So is Aristotle. For example, he was right when he stated that the speed of a falling object is constant. I really don't think so. And let's hear why, good-for-nothing teacher. The speed of a falling object is always accelerated by the gravitational acceleration constant, and it depends on the height from which, which the object falls. I don't agree with you, but I accept your opinion. Well, I guess we'll see each other again as soon as you change your mind. Well, this means never again. <laughs>